Hello and welcome to the Kinetic Typography course. I'm your instructor, Phil Ebner, and I just want to give you a little introduction to this course and what Kinetic Typography is all about. So what is Kinetic Typography? You probably, if you're taking this course, you probably know what it is or you've seen some clips on YouTube. And basically what it has to do with is the movement of text, kinetic having to do with movement, and typography having to do with text. Um, so you'll see those videos online or on YouTube of uh, music videos with the words that are popping up, flashing around, moving around. Um, so actually, I'm going to go ahead and just look up. Uh, let's just see what comes up on YouTube when you type in kinetic typography. Uh, so here you go. Got my... Google Chrome here. Okay, so let's let's just click on um, how about this Dark Knight Kinetic Typography. I'm gonna turn down the sound a little bit, but you see, I'm a guy of simple taste. I enjoy uh, dynamite, gunpowder, and gasoline. What's this? And you know the thing that they have in common. So you get the point from that one. That's from the Dark Knight Kinetic Typography. That is the Joker. Uh, great performance by Heath Ledger uh, talking. And you can see the text coming in and out, moving with the tone of his voice. Uh, let's just pick another one right here. Uh, let's see. This one is the Mad as Hell uh, from Network. So let's see if this pops up. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street. There's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do, and there's no end to it. You know, the air is unfit to breathe. Our food is unfit to breathe. Right, so, you, so you get the point. Really, really awesome. There's a ton of these. Go on YouTube, check them out. Um, for speech, famous speeches or movie lines. Uh, it's a really cool thing. Um, and so that's basically what kinetic typography is. Uh, the different, there's different uses. Like we just saw, you know, people just having fun with uh, mu movies or famous movie lines, or I know they do it in music videos a lot. So those are some of the uses. But you can use kinetic typography uh, in all sorts of videos. I mean, I'm any type of title or graphic that has type that's moving, that's basically kinetic typography. Um, and the way that you do that is it's the same it's the same manner. And so this course is going to teach you how to do that, how to move text, how to bring it in, change the sizes in After Effects. Um, so whether you're creating a kinetic typography video with a movie clip or a, mu a song or you're creating an awesome title intro sequence for your business or or your next course um, this is a great way uh, to do it because it brings your text to life so why use After Effects basically After Effects is built to do kinetic typography um, I don't think that that the the creators actually had in mind that people were going to be using specific using After Effects specifically for kinetic typography, but it's one of the greatest things you can do with it. Basically, um, it's built for uh, creating movement in text and in shapes, and that's basically all you're doing with uh, kinetic typography. And we'll go into that a lot more in the future. But it's more than just moving text. It's not just your kinetic typography isn't just slapping on some text, taking each word and making it fly into the screen. And while that might look cool, it's not going to create a great moving, literally moving kinetic typography. Uh, kinetic typography has a story. It has, uh, you know, a lot more to it. And the best of the best stuff does. You can even tell between the two samples that I showed you from the Dark Knight and from the network. The Dark Knight, uh, the the mood, the lighting, uh, there was a dark background, the effects of the text, the explosions, and the uh, for each word there was a different effect. And that was way more moving because it had a story to it. 
Whereas the network piece, although there was different sizes of fonts and different ways that it moved in, um, at least the part that we saw, it wasn't as built upon a story uh, storyline as it could have been. So that's just a short introduction to uh, this class. I can't wait to get into it. Uh, we're going to be going over um, everything you need to know to create great kinetic typography videos. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or concerns or advice for, for me, please, please, please message me um, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next lesson.